this is Tammy Bradford, and I am here with the beautiful national bikini competitor Alma Villanueva, who has been working the Gen X Labs booth. It has been crazy busy here at the Olympia. You have had a ton of people here, haven't you? Yes, yes, very much. A lot of people are enjoying. People that follows me on uh, Facebook or Instagram and Twitter, they're just coming up to me and says, "Are you Alma?" I said, "Yes." Because finally I get to meet you and you get to sign me something or take picture with me. What is that like to be recognized here? I feel uh, some, it, it feels like all, all my hard work, it pays off. And, and girls out there look up to us. And they're, and they're going to say, hey, I want to look like her. We're going to train. We're going to eat healthy. And most of the time, I post my workout, my videos, and my um, mail. And uh, for people out there to, to uh, just think about nutrition is very important besides gym. Because we can go to gym every day. Without nutrition, we're not going to do nothing. That's right, it does take more than just working out. You cannot just eat cheeseburgers and work out and look fit, that is for sure. So, Alma, I know you have a lot going on in addition to competing, you're also a trainer. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with that. My training is, uh, I train people in the morning because I also work uh, as a, a nail technician and owning a business is not hard I mean it is hard but you have to compromise who you are going to train or who are not and I train during the day and during at night too and then my, during my competition it's coming up so when I'm competing I don't like to train people I focus myself because if I focus other myself and other people I won't do too good so how hard is it to balance working, competing, training other people? I mean, you've got a, a very busy schedule. I know a lot of people will say, well, I don't even have time to get to the gym, and yet you're finding time to compete on a national level, train other people, and work a job. How on earth do you make that work? First of all, I'm not married. I'm single. I have no kids. So all that time that you put in family, I have all that time. I make sure all my schedule is up. I get up at 7 o'clock until I get home at 11.30 at night and sleep. I, all I need is sleep, sleep, sleep. That's all. And I'm doing the same thing. And I work seven days. And I know that the rest is just as important as the training and the nutrition. You have to get in that recovery time as well. Correct. You're right. So what do you have coming up for your competition? You, you've been competing on a national level. Do you have any shows that in your near future? Yes, I have. It, it is in November. It's in Miami, Florida. And I cannot wait to compete. And uh, I actually hire a new uh, coach because I've been doing on my own with my training, my prep, and my posing. And my posing, and I'm a tomboy. I cannot do like bam, bam. I can't do that. And so I'm always watching constantly the people that, you know, for the posing. And I'm like, I can do that. But then when I do it myself, I look ridiculous. I'm like a little tomboy on stage. So uh, Miami, it's coming. It's coming. I doubt that you look like a tomboy, but I think it's funny that we sometimes have a perception of ourselves that is different than how other people see us. Now, when you're on stage, you are looking very feminine and beautiful. You can still be a tomboy and be a bikini competitor and look good on that stage. Um, have you had any challenges as a competitor that you've had to overcome to, to get where you are now? Um, I think we all have a different fitness journey. What is it that has brought you to this point and what trials have you had to endure as a competitor? As a competitor, um, when I compete that I'm not doing good, I focus myself and I said, I like it when I don't place. It, I don't know what it is, but I love it when I don't place. You know why? I work harder. I work which part of my body where I'm going to be 
what that you know if my booty needs to be bigger or my legs needs to come down i work hard or my abs needs to be just a little as because we're bikini we're supposed to be soft not too much but it, it is kind of hard to put myself in that situation because everybody wants to place you know and i know people say i thought you are a pro because you look like that and i said you know what i don't know what to do if i become a pro that i i haven't got in there yet <laughs> can't wrap our minds around that yet but you never know never say never yes correct i i mean i could not say because i i was almost this close and it, you know las vegas uh the masters i took top five 35 and 40s hey i mean that age 44 <laughs> so she does not look 44 but you make 44 look dang good i'm gonna tell you that right now and i do love your positivity about that feedback from a show or not placing because i think um so many of us take it so seriously and it is just a show i mean there there are other things in our lives that are equally or more important but you do train for a very very long time and you want to come in with the best result but what a good piece of advice for competitors going in that it's just look at that as a positive it does show you where you need to improve and we really all are about improving our own bodies and our, and our own level of fitness so that we can be strong and healthy women yes correct my advice to these competitors I've been competing for the last five years now and my advice for them is uh, go up in the States just relax and have a good time because if you are not having a good time well, what is out there to compete I mean this is all about competition this is about you're not competing with other people you're competing for yourself all right Alma's told you compete against yourself we all say we need to do that it's easier said than done sometimes but you are proof that we can do it so be sure to check out Alma on her social media sites. Where can people find you? Um, Facebook.com and uh, uh, Instagram and Twitter. Is it? Uh, are those all under Alma Villanueva? Correct. Correct. Okay, so that's where you can find Alma. Now, where can y'all find Gen X Labs products? That's pretty easy, too. You can find them at genxlabs.net. There's a full list of retailers near you, as well as a list of products in their descriptions, so y'all need to check them out. This is Tammy Bradford coming to you from the 50th anniversary of the Olympia 2014.